What's up, Columbus? I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden here with 614 TV, exploring the best food and drinks our city has to offer. So bring your appetite and your adventurous spirit and join me for 614 TV's Tasting Columbus. It was a love of Southern cuisine and putting a modern twist on comfort food that led Eric Dennison and his wife Laura to start Newfangled Kitchen in Bexley. Their staple is meatloaf sandwiches, but there's so much more. From a life-changing tuna melt to salads and vegetarian options, it's comfort with a capital C. Let's keep eating, Columbus. Come on. I'm here with comfort food queen, Laura Dennison. Thanks so much for having us out at Newfangled Kitchen. Thanks for being here. So you are modernizing comfort food here at New Bangled Kitchen. Yes. How did you land on Meatloaf? We wanted to think of some comfort foods from our childhood that we could put a modern twist on and bring up with the times. So Meatloaf is one of those things that we thought of that we could really make a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try it. I've been coming to New Bangled Kitchen since probably right when it opened. The Meatloaf is unbelievable. It doesn't matter, it's delicious, but the fang, the fang sauce cannot go wrong. What does newfangled mean? Newfangled is something that not you're not used to. We wanted to put a more modern twist on old classics. Well, I'm gonna go back in the kitchen with Eric and, and try some of this out. Awesome. I'm here with Meatloaf and Melt Master, Eric Dennison. We are here in the galley making these shipyard tuna melts. Eric, walk me through it. Well, thanks for joining me, Matt. We're gonna do our tuna melt today, and what we try to do here at Newfangled Kitchen is layer flavors throughout our sandwiches. Take it very seriously, Matt. And so I can we start tell. off, we have mayonnaise, we have Dijon mustard, we have Vermont white cheddar. And so we want that, that saltiness of the cheddar, right? And then we have our wonderful dill pickle. Our tuna itself is extraordinary because we like the buttery texture of the olive oil along with some uh, some great balsamic vinegar. We're gonna press it for about a minute and then we're gonna serve it. We serve about 50 to 75 of these guys a day. It's a lot of tuna. It is. And you make the tuna salad here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's our second best seller next to our meatloaf, which I'm sure we're gonna take a look at soon. Oh, yes we are. Once it's off, we put it on the cutting board, we cut it, and we get ready to serve it to you. Ooh. Eric, I am ready to taste this, but first I want to look at it. It's such a pretty sandwich with the marble rye that you have here. Well, thank you. And also I love that it's just like a honkin' portion of tuna salad. It's a honkin' portion, <laughs> all right. Sometimes tuna salad can be a little sad. Uh -huh. This is anything but that. <laughs> I love the crunchiness and the brininess of the pickles. The Dijon mustard and mayo just plays really well off of all those flavors that you layer into that tuna salad. You put a lot of care into this tuna salad. It's so special and that shows. Thank you, Matt. I am amazed at how you could elevate tuna salad like this. So I can't wait to see what you do with meatloaf. I'm ready to sink my fangs into the fang. Coming up, Newfangled Kitchen shows its teeth with the fang. Stay tuned. I've been coming to Newfangled Kitchen for two years now. Right after they opened, I came for the first time. Uh, I tried their meatloaf when I got here. I was excited to see it. Having this in the neighborhood was, you know, it made it so I was gonna come here at least, it's been about once a week. You thought we were just making a sandwich? No, we are starting from scratch. Eric, I see you have all your ingredients laid out here. Walk me through how we make the meatloaf. Yeah, we're gonna make the meatloaf. The real key to the meatloaf is making sure that we have the right uh, balance of fat to dry components. So we start with our wet ingredients. So we're gonna add our milk first, then we're gonna add our eggs, our onions. So our breadcrumbs just went in. We're gonna season with some salt. Love we're gonna it. season with some white pepper. And that's it, we're gonna mix quick. Right. <laughs> Gently punch. So we'll Pop that baby in the oven. That's about the size of a baby, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so we just took it out of the oven. We're gonna flip it out of the pan, and then we're gonna get ready to cut it and make some sandwiches. We cut nice, thick slices. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. And so now we're gonna bring it over to our salmon station and make this and put this thing together. I can't wait. We start off with some uh, fang sauce, we call it. Uh, and what it is, it's a uh, Alabama white barbecue sauce. So it's mayonnaise based, a little bit smoky, a little bit sweet. I've never heard of that. And we're gonna build it, you know, sort of like a traditional cheeseburger. So we put some, some shredded lettuce down, tomato, red onion, lots of pickle, and uh, we're doing some American cheese. So we're gonna bring it over to the grill here and we're just gonna Get it on the grill just to get that bun a little bit warm. We're not gonna flatten it, we just wanna toast the outside a little bit. Eric, this sandwich looks so good. I think I need to sing it a little bit of a meatloaf love song. Oh no. And I would do anything for the sandwich. This meatloaf is just the right texture. It's so tender, it holds up to a bite, so it's really not that sloppy to eat. Like. Like, you could be in danger of with sure, meatloaf. Absolutely. But that Alabama barbecue sauce, so good. That smoky flavor that it brings in is just terrific. And I love that this also eats kind of like a hamburger. It's a, a newfangled hamburger, maybe. All right, Eric, I have not had comfort food like this before. Thank you so much for having us out. I come to your kitchen anytime. Matt, thank you so much for visiting us, and we'd love to have you all. Don't worry, we'll be back with more to explore. Join us next month on Tasting Columbus. Tonight with me at Basso in Dublin. <laughs> My arm! You broke it. Oh, fuck. <laughs>